Hello, my name is Andrew Perkins and welcome to part 8 of my Laravel tutorial. In this video we're going to continue working with Eloquent and learn how to update data that's in our database. So in our application if we were to view an individual author we should have an edit link which will take us to a form that should be pre-populated with this author's information and we should be able to make changes to that author and then resave him or her back into the database. So let's get started. We'll switch into our text editor and we'll start in our routes file, so open up routes.php and we need to create the route that's going to handle displaying the edit form so we'll use the get method and the URI is going to need to accept the ID of the author that we're editing so I'm going to make my URI look like author slash and then we'll use the any URI wildcard slash edit and then we just need to give our route a name so I'll set the as key and I'm going to name it uh, edit author and then we'll set the uses key to map this to our authors controller and an edit action. There we go so let's create our edit action so if we go into controllers let's open up our authors controller and we'll scroll down to the bottom here and let's create a new public function and we'll prefix it with the get HTTP verb and our actions called edit and it just needs to accept the ID of the author that we're editing. And now we just need to return a view, so we'll return here and call our view class and use the make method. We'll tell it to render an edit view file. We'll create that edit view file in a moment. Uh, we'll use the with method to bind some data to the view, so we're going to need to set the page's title so I'm just going to say edit author and then we also need to use our author model to locate the author that we're editing so we can send that author's information to the view and then we'll pre-populate the form using that author data so I will bind an author variable to the view and we'll call our author model use the find method and just pass in the ID of the author that we're wanting to find there we go so that handles our edit action let's create our edit view file so under views authors let's create a new file and we'll save it as edit.blade.php and let's tell it to use our layout so that's under layouts and that's the default layout and we'll create our content section and then end the section and I'll create an h1 tag here and we'll just have it say uh, editing and then we'll use the author object here to display the author's name there we go so now we just need to make sure we're displaying our form validation error messages and we can actually just use the same code that we used in our new view so if we open up the new.blade.php view we can see here's our if statement where we're checking to see if we have any errors and if we do we just display those messages so rather than copying this and then duplicating it into our edit view uh, let's extract this into a separate view file so it'll just be like a partial view that's going to contain the code for displaying author error messages and then on any view file that we want to display errors we can just render that partial view so under the views directory let's create a new folder here and I'm going to call it common um, you could name this folder whatever you wanted I'm just calling it common since it's going to hold view files that may be common to other view files and so inside the common folder I'll create a new file and I'm just going to save it as author underscore errors dot blade dot php and then in our new view file let's just cut out this code that we use for displaying our error messages and we'll paste it into our author errors view fix up the formatting and now whenever we want to display author errors we can just render this view file so let's close the author errors view and here in our new view file we'll just render out that errors view we can do that by using the render method and just tell it to render the author errors view 
and we need to do the same thing inside of our edit view. So let's call the render method and tell it to render the author errors. There we go, so that handles displaying our error messages. We just need to create the form now. Let's use our form class and we'll call the open method to create the opening form tag and this will submit to author slash update and it's going to do a put request since we're updating data and we're going to need a text input field for editing the author's name so I'll create a label for the name field and that'll just say name for the text and I'll put a br tag here and then we'll create a text input field for the author's name using the text method and then we'll use our author object to pre-populate this text input field with the name of the author that we're editing and let's just copy this and we'll paste it down here to create one for the biography so we'll change the bio, uh, the label to say bio and biography and we'll use the text area method instead of the text method for the bio and make sure that we pre-populate it with the bio data and next I'll create a hidden form field using the hidden method and this is going to be for the ID of the author that we're editing and the reason we're creating this field is because once we're in the controller and we're ready to process the form submission uh, we're going to need to know which author to update and so we'll be able to grab this ID from the form and we'll update that author next we need to create a submit button so we'll use the submit method and the text on the button is just going to say uh, update author and let's uh, put this button inside of a p tag there we go and now we just need to close the form so we'll use the close method there we go so that's it for the edit form uh, let's create a link to the edit page from our author view page so we're going to open up view.blade.php and I'm going to create a p tag here to hold my link uh, I'm actually going to create two links so I'm going to create a link to the author's index page since we currently don't have a way of getting to that page without just typing in the URL into the address bar of our browser so that's going to be the first link so I'll use the HTML class and the link to route method and that's going to go to the author's named route and the link text is just going to say authors and then I'm going to put a space and a pipe and then a space to separate my two links and so this next link is just going to link to our edit page that we just created so we'll use the HTML class and its link to route method and we'll link to our edit author route and the linked text is just going to say edit and then we need to make sure that we pass in the ID of the author that we're editing as that's required for our route so that'll create our two links and I also noticed that I have an HTML error here you can see I didn't close my small tag so I'm gonna close that and we should be able to test out our edit form so let's go to the browser and here we are on the author view page so if we refresh this here's our two links so we have the link to go back to the authors index page that appears to be working and we have our edit link and you can see that takes us to our edit form and it's pre-populated with that author's information of course if we try to submit the form we're going to get a 404 because we don't have a route or even an action to process this form submission so that's our next step let's go into our text editor and we'll create the route first so uh, we're going to need a route matching this author slash update that our form submits to so in routes.php let's create a new route here so I'll call the route class and we're going to use the put method this time since we're responding to a put request from our form and so that's author slash update and we don't actually need to give this route a name 
uh, for the same reason that we didn't give the create route a name we'll only be submitting to this route from a form we'll never create a link or redirect to this route so let's just set the uses key to map this route to our authors controller and the update action now we just need to create this update action so we'll switch to our authors controller and down at the bottom here we'll create a new public function we'll prefix it with the put HTTP verb and our actions called update and now we can just process the form to update the author so the first thing we need to do is grab the ID of the author that we're updating. Remember we can get that from the hidden form field that we created. So I'll create an ID variable here to hold that and we'll use the input class and the get method to grab that hidden ID fields value. And now we just need to validate our data. So I'll create a validation variable and call our author model and our validate method. And then we'll just pass in all of the form data to it to validate our form and then we'll just check using the validation object to see if it's failed using the fails method and if the validation has failed we just want to redirect them back to the edit form so that we can display the error messages and then they can try to resubmit so let's just return and call our redirect class and the to route method to redirect to a named route and so that's going to be our edit author named route and we need to make sure we pass in the ID of the author that we're wanting to edit we'll just use the ID that we got from the form that'll take them back to the same author and then we need to make sure we're displaying our error messages so we'll call the with errors method and pass in our validation object so that we have the correct error messages so that handles if the validation fails now we just need to do the else, meaning that the validation has passed. So in here we're just going to want to uh, update the author's information with whatever they submitted from the form and then redirect them back to the author's view page so that they can see the changes they made and we'll give them a success message. So to edit an author we can use our author model and it has a static update method. Uh, the first parameter is the ID of the author that you want to update and the second parameter is just an array so that we can uh, update the fields for this author so we can change the author's name to whatever they entered into the form we will use our input class and its get method to grab whatever they entered into the name field and then we'll just update the name for this author we'll do the same thing here for the biography so we'll grab whatever they entered in for the bio and update the bio field for this author so that takes care of updating the author for us. We just need to redirect them back to the author view page uh, so that they can see the changes that they made and we'll give them a success message. So we'll just return here, call our redirect class and the to route method and we'll redirect to our author named route and we need to make sure we pass in the ID of the author that we're redirecting to and then we'll use the with method to give them a flash message and we'll just say author updated successfully there we go and I'll break this with call down onto a new line since it was running off the page and that's it for editing our authors so our actions finished we should be able to test this out let's go to the browser and here we are on our author's index page so if we click on Terry and we go to his edit page we can see it has Terry's information here pre-populated into the form and let's test out the validation errors let's see what happens if we just try to submit Terry again with an empty name so it looks like our error messages are still working it says the name fields required and then it put Terry back in there so let's try changing his name so I'll change this to be Brackenwall or something like that and then we'll update the biography as well so we'll say Brackenwall's bio goes here and so this should validate and it should update Terry for us so let's try it there we go we get redirected back to the 
author view page and we have our flash message and we can see that it has changed Terry's information. It's displaying the new data and it's also updated our uh, updated date time field in our database. And that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.